This one is already clean. You can see the inside is empty. So I'm going to show how I remove the bone from inside. Hold on for my gloves on. If you don't like it to see it, that it will bother you. So I just better not watching but it's not that the nasty is not bad so this is the one still need to get done so you can see the white preservative that I put on so you got a nice sharp knife what do you try to do so the skin that is very attached to the bottom you want to try to be gentle lift it up a little bit I put the knife in there and just push up try to move with your hands a little bit so there is that skin that will hold together I just want to try to push them up a little bit just to loosen it up so make sure you don't scratch the nail then you get a nice scissor try to get that bone on the top Try to move it. Look, poof. And they come up. So I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the inside the nail, and that's the actually nail that was inside there. Put them back on. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on. So that was like that. You loosen it up and it comes off then we're gonna wash it let me show you guys I already cleaned some yesterday so I think I had a no more many to do it eh? so I got one two three I'm pretty much done I got one more to do so same thing you got a knife and again oh that one just came off yeah, sometimes they come right off real easy. So what do you do? If you get a black bear, you remove the nail, you put them in the water with the dish soap, and you leave them uh, in the water with dish soap for uh, probably four days, five days, not more than a week, but four or five days. Then you wash, take the water off, dry them up a little bit, and then uh, just play with the knife all the way around the scissor if it's hard to remove it but other than that it should just come off like that and it's empty so I got a butter all 10 of them because these are the back the back feet from my black bear so this one are already all cleaned so you can see it now I'm gonna I'm gonna wash then we're gonna dry it and I'm gonna show you to the next one uh, how we do the next process. The next step is some just normal temperature water with a little bit of soap and just wash them off as good as you can but be gentle with So now if you guys see the nail is completely clean so now next thing you want to do you want to just get a uh, new clean napkin and get a like a rubber alcohol and just rub them with a little bit of alcohol and then you just let it sit dry and next step I'm gonna show you how to refill and um, in the meantime I'm gonna finish clean this and then when I got all done I will show you how refill and how we select we set up the necklace ready to go so, 
Usually I like to put it down and just nice and gentle all the way around. You can see, you can tell where the extra tissue is and just with the blades, nice and gentle. If you scratch them a little bit, we'll remove all the skin. Make sure there's nothing left. You know, you don't have to rush, you know, take your time, and it will be fine. Just make sure you don't super squeeze them on your hand, or it will break. You gotta remember, there is not, no more tissue and no more bones inside to make to hold them nice and stronger. Make sure that you use a nice sharp knife. Whatever you see, you, see, you can see the tissue, the skin, you know, and just uh, if you see a little crack, you can go with the blades like that, it will, it will make it nice and sharp. That way, it doesn't crack. Inside is clean, so you can check in there. Maybe there's a little bit with the knife, you know. how much stuff comes up doesn't look like but there is so if you rush you can probably break this but if you don't then get a plastic or metal one they're both the same just the metal one does more it's more aggressive so I don't really prefer it's not my preference I like to go a little more gentle on this part because I see the only thing that holds together this part of the bones here that they hold them together see if it's not separate all the rest is open so and this is how it is see nice and clean maybe just a little more here that's done again then after this process we're gonna use rubbing alcohol to clean up I'm gonna finish this one now. So next thing you do, put on a cloth like this. I got rubbing alcohol, and I'm just gonna spray it everywhere. That will disinfect it. Ninety-nine percent alcohol, but you can get whatever you feel like it. Once it, you do that, you put a cloth up. Nice, nice and rubbed now and then you just let it dry before we move to the next step so look how clean they are now look how clean in there clean inside have a nice fur cloth necklace so all three like that same process and if there is any skin receipt all the way around get your knife and just nice and gentle see this stuff right here like moving you want to try to remove it that's all tissue that you don't want it but take your time and just remove it because if you leave some of that in there so it can give a bad smell so you know just clean it slow so See the stuff is in there, so it's cover blue. Put the knife in. And try to remove it. Turn it up. Make sure it's not there. See, 
get that you can get it with your finger and remove so try to move all the skin that is around the nail then you want to get a little brush like that when you're done and just gentle scruff them up see if there's anything left try to remove that too. you gotta go anywhere but you know you take your time be nice you can see and if you have a nice light nice long strong light it's it's good thing so if you have a nice strong light right where you work it's it's good because that makes you see very good and if there is any anything left you know just check if you with your hands don't rush before you get to the last spot so this looks pretty good to me looks really good to me just just an extra check you know Nice pointy sharpie knife is the key to this. Look at this guys. See how nice it looks? And it's all clean. Inside. So the next step I'm gonna show you right now. Then the second thing you wanna do, you just wanna get a nice cloth put the nail in there you can see they're nice and clean now and just dry and gentle if you want to shake them off a little bit try to remove all the water as much as you can so guys so guys next thing i'm doing it so once are all nice and clean next thing i'm using this type of holding they call them uh, Bad landing or toggle claps. You can see. So you can use whatever whatever you like uh, your favor. But this is the, the look I like. And then I bought a the necklace holding. So we open it up. Clip this. So this is a nice necklace right there. Perfect. And next, next we're gonna open up this one. So this is like forty-seven point six centimeter. The size that I used for the necklace. So then I'm open this guy's here. I'm gonna show you guys which one I'm using or which one I'm thinking that be working better for me. So I'm gonna check the round ones. The round ones are like this: the circle on the bottom, big circle on the top. So we want to slide the big circle into the necklace like that, and then so I'm gonna close this. Try to move right now. So you got this little round circle on the bottom. Next thing you want to do, you want to have a, like a glue gun like this, something smaller and pre-eat it from at least, from at least half an hour before that at least gives time to warm up pretty good. And then you want to start from, then you want to start from the bottom, some glue. So. Pull off a little bit and then put your finger down that way slide them that way it's like give them a nice smooth nice smooth look see so now we're gonna put the glue on the top and the bottom is already done fill it up from the top but not all the way up so just put a little bit in give some time to cool off more than the front and again, more on the front like that. Then put your finger right up. Just try to make sure that emptiest 
the emptiness will be filled. So, and I like it because the glue that I just touched, it's really, really, it's really, really warm. So it's good. So now inside, they get full already. So we're gonna put a little more before we're gonna completely emerge the necklace. So now I'm putting it all the way up. So it's a refill all the way at the top and before it completely gets cold. Now you get the necklace and put them in there and just blow on and let it cool off. So let us, so guys again, get a nice cloth, put some rubbing alcohol on and then you can Get a, you can get the bear cloth and just clean it, rub them like that. Perfect, doesn't smell anything. Look at that. Nice and clean inside. Oop, just drop it. Nice clean on this side. Now again. Get the little glue, glue them right there. Just let your finger right on. That way will flat, will smooth it. It gives that curve. As you see, the cloud is kind of curved, so it gives that smooth look. Doesn't puff out. Now inside's empty, and we got the glue. Put them in there. Fill it up. Now that I put them on, make sure nothing comes up this way. Now, look how much I put. I still need, just need a little bit of space. So I'm gonna let it cool off. I'm getting ready the, another necklace. That's the size I use. They're like 47.6 centimeter, 18.75 inch, I guess. I don't know. See the size? So this is the first one I made. So look how it looks beautiful. I, I think it came pretty good. Then I'm getting another ring like this. I bought a Michaels, all this stuff. So then you can't find all this product on Michael, but except the bear, you not find this on Michaels, so bear cloud. But this, that's what I bought. Now, where's that one? Once you put them together, this is the top, this is the bottom. And now I'm going to refill this, the whole thing. Make it like, put your finger on, like smooth it up in the corner too. It gets a little open. And then kill the, the glue, it's still hot. You want to make sure you... You can slide. Come on. want to slide the necklace in there and then if you see eventually you need more you can still put more so just hold the bottom slide them in pull a little bit and just put it down a little let it cool off now and then I will show you how we do it so one more time that's the last one I'm going to show you. So I did three times. That way it's so easy to do it. Glue it, the front. Finger right up. That way you give that, again, that smooth look. Don't be cheap, you know what I mean? 
glue is not that expensive smooth it up and need one more glue stick that's what I use then Put enough in there. Again, one more bag. So this will be the last one, guys. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. I hope you guys can share and show other people. A lot of people go probably will go bed hunting and never get done this. They threw all the paws, all the back legs, which you can make a lot of necklace or one bear 20, <laughs> technically. So again, my necklace will look like this size, perfect size, not too low, not too high. You don't feel like you choke. But when you buy it, usually this is the, the size. If your people got big neck, then they have to put it, make a different request. So this is already pre-fill. Gonna put a little more. You don't have to really rush, 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 but don't take too much time because the glue, it does glue quick. So again, put them in there. Just let it sit now. A few minutes to cool off and the necklace are done. So technically this is how it look like. So I just put this one on, that was my first one I ever make it, so that will be mine. See if I can take it off. So I just take it off. So that is how it looks like. See there, there's a little bit of glue. You can smooth that up with the Eating. Put the right now. That's it. So it's going to have you move all the extra, the extra glue. That's it. Again. Get the photo mark. So easy to put them on guys and doesn't smell of anything and I think it's pretty cool uh, to have something to have not not everybody get to have a, a pair cloth necklace so I hope you guys enjoy this video I appreciate for your time please subscribe hit that bell and share this video let me know what you think leave me a comment below take it easy <laughs>